Oh, he's on fire. You watch him go. Hello guys, welcome back, another episode of Minecraft, as always this is Jason, and we're in a snapshot, 12W38B, um, so, everyone's all worried about all these things in the snapshot, such as fire, and um, so, I've been reading the, the change log and everything, and looks like uh, Mojang's already thought of that, shocking, I know, right, um, so, let's, let's test it. Uh, I thought I already had some made, and there's probably some right on my screen, but whatever. We'll make new ones. Now I'm going to make this backwards. Oh, no, I made it right the first time. It's a miracle. Alright, let's go somewhere safe. Actually, probably out here would probably be a good place, out in the desert. And let's test, uh, let's test this fire thing out. And uh, with this snapshot came new sounds, so notice the crickly grass sound that we've got. It's kind of cool. I wonder what sand, sand sounds like. Ooh, I like the water sound, actually. Sand's not bad either, actually. The zombie sounds the same. <laughs> I don't know, sand's kind of... Sounds kind of wet a little bit. Sand ain't wet. All right, I think over here will be good. Near water and everything. All right, so let's see here. I think I have it turned off right now. Ooh, that's a weird sound. Uh, have a snack while we wait. It takes a while to burn that block up, doesn't it? <laughs> like we should just like just get a little campfire going here. <laughs> oh man. Hey block. Burn. Alright, um well, that seemed okay. That did seem too dangerous. Now let's try uh Oh yeah. It oh good god. Jesus Christ. It burns the sand and everything, man. Woo! And a fiery blaze, man. That is no joke. Okay. So, that's what new fire looks like. Um we want to actually go to the new fire. But uh, right now, we're, we want to give everyone a chance to get their builds and everything updated to where it's safe. And um, that's the price you may pay. Um, so you may, you may lose everything if you don't, uh, if you don't have you know, a safe build. <clears throat> um, but for right now, until we will get a chance to, uh, to update their stuff, we're going we're gonna to have normal fire. Uh, 1.3 fire is basically what we got right now. Um, so everything is... It's safe, and you guys don't have to worry um, about the fire, at least. There's other things to worry about. Um, but uh, I've been getting rumors and updates that uh, I need to head back to my house and um, see what's going on there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a little journey back back home to my, uh, my house in the mountains, and we'll see, we'll see how things are going there. Um, and uh, I'll be back with you guys once we get there. Hey guys, I'm back. Alright, so I don't know where this prank is at. I just know it exists, so I don't want to go and start recording before I get too far up there. Um, I guess that's the new lava sound. You know, what's weird about these sound changes is the sounds, a lot of sounds recently changed. It seems weird to me to change them again so quickly. Um, but from what I've read, these sounds that we're changing to have been around. What? <laughs> okay, sure, why not? That has got to be the strangest. <laughs> it 
Yeah, that's definitely the strangest sound I've ever heard while climbing a ladder in my life. It sounds like a robot masturbating. <laughs> in case you guys have never heard a robot masturbate. Jesus Christ! Now, I'd heard he stole the thing, but look at that sign! Wow! It's amazing! That's impressive, Badge. I'll give him that. Nice. Nice signs you have there, buddy. I have a feeling these signs have text on them and you just uh, can't see it. <laughs> I'll blame the snapshot. Oh man, I hope that there are uh, signs at this prank that have no, s no text on them. <laughs> uh, that'll be funny. Let's go see if this sign in my house still has text. I don't know about there's there might be yeah no the signs the signs don't have text let's let's try reconnecting and see if the text comes back hey, look at that text okay so not all is lost hey what happened here give me that um so yeah I've gone through the change log of all the changes and man it's got me so excited to play this game right now um stuff like uh, wooden what the fuck happened to my paintings man um stuff like wooden buttons. These are not the right paintings, but whatever. I'll just stick something there for right now. Um, but yeah, wooden buttons that can be activated by... Uh, well, I'm only getting these little tiny butt guys. Is that all, all I get now? Tiny guys? Um, but yeah, wooden buttons that can be activated by arrows. That That's just got me excited. Um, and item frames. I mean, you guys already know about the item frames. But yeah, the, the, that's, all, that's all that's left in this world. Little, little, little tiny paintings. For real? Oh no, there we go. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on. So where's this prank at? Oh look who's on! It's Jay Santa. Did I say that already? Now, I thought it was over here by the village. But I don't know if there was stuff up in the house too. I've seen some of it through B00's videos. Do you make a weird sound when you hit the ground? Hey, my sheep are all red. I don't remember them being red. Oh, that was a weird sound. I want to take some fall damage so I can hear it again. Notice my walkway's gone. Whoa, calm down, bells. Jesus Christ, that was crazy sounding. Um, yeah, my walkway's gone. What's up with that? Um, some guy was saying on the Reddit, hey, doesn't think that, uh, the sounds is something that you guys should hear because they're not done yet. But to me, that's all the more reason for you guys to hear them. Woo! What a sound that guy made. Let's hear this bells again. Oh, what the hell? I didn't get crazy bells this time. Alright. So where, where is this prank? There is no prank. Um, I've got stuff together for two pranks now, and I think I'm gonna do back to back. What the hell's all this shit? Oh, it's BW bringing villagers in. That's probably what this is. Hey guys. Whoa. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Hey, look at all these levers. Oh my god. Jump, guy. Okay, I have a feeling these levers are the prank. <laughs> Something tells me. Oh, and there's a block. Oh, mm-hmm. 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 So many words. Prank Wars, the waiting game. September 11th. Too soon, MC Gamer. Master Good, my name is Mick Gamer. Um... Okay, which which way does it go? Your continued spread of the inaccurate name Mick Gamer is not only an insult to me, but to gamers worldwide. Today I bring you a huge l leap in pranking technology. Follow the popular ethos hit list. This prank is also a mind game, but with deadly consequences. This prank also extends to your dear lover, Mr. B00. 
I have created a large stash of TNT and placed it in a hidden location. Do not worry. I will take it away if you can wait until my bomb removal squad arrives in one week. Dude, he did this prank like a month ago. Where's where's the bomb removal squad? Slow motherfuckers. If not, do not fret. You can clean up the mess yourself. But be wary. One wrong lever and you might be in trouble. Thank you for your time. See you in one week. Yours, truly, MC Gamer. Um, okay. Well, we know all these can't be a problem, right? Ooh. What's, uh, what's levers meant to be removed with? Ooh. I guess shovels, because damn if it didn't break faster with the shovel than anything else. You know, TNT's a, a non-pranking, um, block. <laughs> it's against the rules. <laughs> um, well, we know all these would have to be safe, right? I kind of want to set up a bunch of TNT, to be quite honest. Um, I need I need some inventory room there. Like these would be the ones I would booby trap. Nothing. All right, let me go put some stuff. Up. Why is that all these torches right here? Where's the Where's the cave? What happened to the cave, man? The cave, man. Oh, there's the cave. Oh. Did B double O close up my cave? This is the cave of wonders. And delight. Or something. <laughs> this cave won't hurt nobody. We'll go burn B double O's house down with his new fire spread. I mean, villagers went down there and stuff, but they were allowed. Since I've been gone, man, he's been grounding my villagers, not letting them in the cave. Just quality of life has really gone down around this place. I saw someone's name for a second there. I'm losing my damn mind. <clears throat> All right, so uh, <laughs> dude, these these levers. Uh, so many levers. Um, you know, leather's really making its way into a lot of different things nowadays. Um, and uh, it's funny, in my last episode, people just kept on and on about the cows around my area. And those cows aren't new, man. I breed those cows a long time ago. What has happened in this? Man, you can't leave nowhere for any any period of time. Just things change so quickly. No one has kept up my, my place like it should have been. Like, look at this wheat farm. What has happened here? Why, there's, why is there wood missing? And the wheat's not grown anymore? And just, just a mess, man. Just a mess. I thought I could trust beat up. Ooh. That's a sound. <laughs> oh, these new sounds just... I don't know. I wonder what you're supposed to break levers with. It, it really feels like a shovel is the right thing. Because look at this. Why, why is it a shovel breaks that faster than a pickaxe or a sword? I have an axe. I do have an axe. I mean, it is an efficiency too. But isn't that again? No, it's got a breaking on it. Well, this will probably break it faster than it won't it. Oops. Oh, oof! Oof! Too quick. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there we go. You think there's really TNT? What are the chances there's really TNT? I really. Oh, this is the ground started breaking. I thought I'd finally found the TNT. I kind of want there to be TNT just to see the explosion. I've been I've been wanting some TNT ever since uh ever since um I blew up that that river. What? 
no levers inside the building. Why are you gonna be leave for prejudice? It's a weird sound. You hear that? Oh, of course that went up there where I can't reach it. Son of a bitch. I just wanted to break a block and put it back just to hear the sound game. Oh, getting wood again. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, that's right. They've changed this to where it's based on the placement. So I actually have to place this like up in the air here. Um, that's sand, Jason. This will do. I like that though. I think that's better. <clears throat> It certainly would have been better for me whenever I did all that shit the other day. Um, of course, changes like that happen after <laughs> after it's too late. Maybe all my complaining got it changed. You know, I think a lot of times uh, people assume that stuff gets changed because YouTubers complain about it. Um, but really, I think what happens is the things that YouTubers complain about are the things that everyone uh, complains about. It's not just uh, the YouTubers that are complaining. So during the last podcast, we were we were laughing at the start about a video that we had watched before the podcast, and some people took it in poor taste because um, why is there water here? Whoops, I fell in the water. Because the video we were laughing about was people killing themselves at uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, and we weren't laughing at suicide um, though I'm fine with with it <laughs> if you so desire uh, but uh, <laughs> it's something I've talked about before um, but no the video was just so crazy it's changed now it's not even the top uh, the top video when you search for Golden Gate Bridge anymore now it's um, something else what was there blocks there uh, but before, whenever you search for Golden Gate Bridge, it was the top video, and so it was just so ironic that if like these tour, this is this is this is how we got to the Giggle Fest that we we were at. Um, it was just so ironic that if you were a tourist and you would search for Golden Gate Bridge, that that's what you would find is just this video of all these people jumping off the bridge to their death, and um, the song choice for the video by the creator was Hallelujah um, and so it just seemed like such a strange strange song choice for the content of the video and I don't know we were just uh, it was just you know mine and Milby's fucked up sense of humor that led to um, us laughing uncontrollably at the strangest video I've ever seen I don't understand why there's all these levers man It's all right, Mick Gamer. It's all right. I was just trying to help him out, man. A lot of people. There's there's this thing where people don't realize how to say something, and uh, I understand having this really long last name. When I used to play uh, football, the announcer would always get my name wrong. I mean, it, it never failed. The announcer got my main, my name wrong. Um, I mean, because you're going from different, you know, you're going from hometown to uh, to different you know, different towns and stuff, and so there's always these different announcers uh, calling out the players as they run on the field, and it never failed that my my last name was was mispronounced by by the announcer. My mom used to just get furious about it. I mean, she didn't even have the same last name, you know. Um, she'd remarried, so uh, you know, it wasn't like she was personally insulted first herself it was just I mean the thing is even though I have a really long last name it's uh, hooked on phonics man you could say it. Um, it you just each each syllable is easily sounded out and uh, the name comes together it's it's that simple 
Um, so you know, I, growing up, I was I've always been used to uh, people mispronouncing my last name, and it's not because it's a hard last name to pronounce. It's just due due to laziness. Um, oh man, that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> it's like, oh no, the TNT has arrived. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things, and then you know, people. It's another thing. If you have if you have a long last name, you know how it is. People get a kick out of trying to pronounce it, and then they're always like, "Did I get it right?" And you're just like, "Close enough." That's that's my response. Close enough. Um, cause I I don't I I don't have the the energy after this many years to tell another human being how to say my last name. I don't care. I don't care if you know my last name. I don't care if you say it right. Just fact just don't even talk to me if you're if we're not already friends i don't i don't need any more i got enough <laughs> um so uh so i know i know the pain that the, that mcgamer has to go through um and it, probably what happened is um you know someone called him mc gamer at one point and they're like did i get it right and uh it just it went from there you know the poor guy he just he had to accept this is his name and it got to the point where even he believes it now he thinks his name is MC Gamer um again what's he the MC of I mean it's, it's, it's not fucking prom night on the Minecraft server <laughs> so uh you know I, I I know I've left it alone since then but I was just trying to help a friend out you know I don't I don't want the guy to have to go through what I've gone through my whole life um with my last name, you know, and, and he doesn't even have a last name. He's just got, you know, unless unless Gamer is his last name, but I don't think so. I think, I mean, it's not like Mick, like Mick Jagger. It's like uh, Mick, like McDonald's, and that's why I brought in the Golden Arches, kind of like a reminder to everyone. And when they see when they see Mick Gamer, they know they know what to think about. I mean, you shouldn't think about like greasy ass hamburgers when you see. <laughs> Oh look, there's Mick Gaber, greasy ass hamburgers. No, 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 um, that's not what I mean. But uh, I mean, you guys know what I mean. I think everyone's been there at some point in life. Even even if it's not with their name, it's it's always something, you know. Um, so, ooh. Remember when I was in a, a daycare? I think I was in. I was in first grade. Um, but there was this fucking prick that, uh, like, the daycare would take us to uh, to school, um, and it was an all all ages uh, daycare. But there was this guy, he was probably, I mean, you know, whenever you're young like that, people seem a lot older than they really are. Like, I remember when I used to work at Southern Junction, um, I mean, I was only uh, 13, but I was surrounded by all these 18, 20, 21-year-olds, and they just seemed so old, man. They just, I mean, I just couldn't even imagine what it would be like to be 18. <laughs> uh, so, um... I mean, eventually you get to a point in your life where it's just, you're, you're 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 capped out. <laughs> you're not. It doesn't matter, you know, if I turn 32 tomorrow, which I won't, because that's just not how the calendar works. But um, I wouldn't feel any older. I think I think you get to a point where you just, even though you're getting older, you still feel like you know you're 18 or 17 or whatever. You you, you cap out on maturity, and you're not gonna get. You just you're, you're done. <laughs> Uh, I mean, of course, you'll still continue to gain life experiences, which will change you, change you as a person. But uh, I don't know. There's some things you just you can only go so far with, I guess. Um, but no, there was this kid that was just a fucking douchebag. And like, I remember, I, I still remember. Like I said, I was only in first. I might even have been kindergarten. It was kindergarten or first grade. Um, we were living in Wingate, North Carolina, and uh, so I would get dropped off there when my mom went to work and uh, they would take us to school and this guy like I remember him hiding my lunchbox one time on this on the, the little van that we took to school and I just remember not having lunch that day um, 
because I didn't have any money or anything. I mean, you, you don't really carry around like a change purse or anything when you're in kindergarten or first grade, whatever it is. Um, so I just remember just having to go hungry that day because my lunch got hidden and I and I totally didn't even realize it when I was getting off the um, off the little van or whatever. I just remember not having lunch that day and. Uh, and then he would always pick on my last name, man. He always called me. Um, it was always carpooling skis is what he is what he changed my my last name to, which isn't even fucking close. And even if it was, how is that even an insult? Like it doesn't even make sense. And I was always so confused when I was young too. I mean, <laughs> I was always like, it doesn't even make sense. And they would just think it was so funny that I was upset. I wasn't upset. I was just just bothered by the lack of logic behind. <laughs> this damn insult, if you want to even call it that. Um, so, yeah. Man, the sound you make when you hit wood. Or is that just all all fall damage? Oh, yeah. Apparently, I got drums in my knees. <laughs> uh, you guys didn't notice those bass drums in my knees, did you? This motherfucker just got bass drums in his knees, too. I don't think there's any TNT, McGamer. I pretty much got most of these now, it feels like. I feel like I need to do something with a lever now, though. I'm not gonna lie. You know, honestly, I think if he was gonna actually put TNT in him, he'd probably do the ones outside the village. That would make the most sense, because... Um, it's less likely to damage anything that is actually important. <coughs> And the whole the whole TNT rule, TNT and lava rule, is you know you know we're all mature adults on the server, um, so we don't really need these type of police policing rules and stuff. They're only it's only there in place just so that um, you know people don't go too far with it. Um, the whole idea behind these pranks are to be funny and um, you know it's stuff for you guys to enjoy and uh, for us to enjoy, but without going so far as to destroy any any of our blocks or hard work. Uh, Hard, hard work, um, hard, hard, our hard stuff. <laughs> there we go. Let's we'll just leave it at that. What the hell's that sound? What the hell was that sound? Was that was that the spider walking? Come here, Let's come here a minute. Oh my god, listen to that spider. That is the grossest fucking sound I've ever heard in my life. Some like he's got a bunch of little suction cups on his feet. I wonder what creeper explosions sound like now. I need to do that too. Right. So I don't know how I feel about bats being in my game. <laughs> I don't I don't really need bats. Oh man, I was gonna go let that guy explode. He just disappeared. Um but no, this is not I'm sorry, not bats. I say bats. I meant witches. Witches, witches is what I'm talking about. Bats I'm fine with. But and witches, you know, I'm fine with too. But they need to get their ass out of the game after Halloween. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't a witch place. <laughs> I just don't understand why the fuck there's witches in the game now all of a sudden. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it does fit with uh, everything else. Oops. It just doesn't feel like. I don't know. He disappeared too. He fell in here. Oh yeah, he just fell in there. Stay in there. Leave me alone. So I wonder, uh... I don't think there's any TNT involved here. I hate to say it. I was really hoping to, like, have a bang involved at some point. Man, some of these sounds are crazy. Uh, for the most... Jesus Christ, I'm just wrecking this, the beach here. It's got to tap even lighter. Oh man, this really does extend into B double O stuff here. And some of these are probably levers he's placed just to get the stuff powered up here. Has he? Has the villagers made it over here? You know, my plan before Noah died was to, um, before I went too crazy with the breeding. I was gonna build like a little like lookout box above the village, and I was gonna move Noah and Fred up there, 
But um, then after Noah died, I just decided that, you know, just go crazy with it and just let him breed. Because um, BWO asked me before he started breeding them, you know, is it okay? Do you care if I just go, go to town on these guys? And I was like, nope. Breed away. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know if I should clean up all the way into here. This is really, uh, this is really beat up low land. This is, this is your problem, man. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is not my, this is not my problem. Generic B, you got, you got shit on your lawn here, man. <laughs> Dude, every part, every part of this build right here cracks me up. There is no part like this antenna. Just, oh man, it's just too damn good. <laughs> I didn't even notice that it's got a damn <laughs> Oh god Wow That shit is just too damn funny uh, It might be, in my opinion The best build on the server I know that's That's something that's debatable But come on, look at this damn thing It's just the funniest damn thing <laughs> Oh man Mmm People keep asking about the trial um, and when it's coming up, and uh, the answer is soon. We're just um, getting together to everybody that that's needed, um, the jury and everything, and um, getting together all my subpoenas, cause gotta you know get people in. Um, I wonder if he managed to get the villagers over here. I don't see any guys. It is daytime. They'd be outside right now, wouldn't they? I guess he didn't. This is a. Oh, this is like the jail. Maximum security prison. Contributed by the gyms. Well, that's where they can go. This is maximum security, man. If uh, if someone's convicted, they can just get right in here. It doesn't look like it's maximum security to me, though. Pretty sure you could dig with your hands into that sand down there. <laughs> oh man. Well, guys, I've cleaned up my my part of the prank. B double O, dude, you got some stuff to clean up. Why why do you have all these levers on the ground, dude? That's Fucking weird, weirdo. And uh, I may have messed up your rail because I took all the levers. But you got plenty to use, so don't worry. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to get all my stuff together and uh, pull off one of my, my my pranks that I have in the works here before. Uh, whew, but before too much longer here. Hopefully this week I can get it pulled off. Um, I'm gonna push for an episode every other day again. Um, now that there's no more conventions and things taking up all my time, um, the biggest problem, and I've had people asking me here recently, you know, what, why is it that you have, you can still put up a dead space every day, but you can't put up a mine crack? And the thing is, you know, before my daughter was born, it was easy, because <laughs> I could wake up and start prepping, and you know, get ready, here we come. Um, since then, not so easy. Uh, I get, you know, four hours a night to really work on this stuff, record, and then I need to start editing and rendering if I'm going to get it up by the next day. So really I only get four hours a night and normally my old Minecraft videos, not, not, not every one of them of course, but a lot of them had four or five hours prep before I even started recording. And that's how everyone on this server is for the most part. Um, you know, not everyone, but a lot of people on this server, there is hours worth of prep that goes into anything before an episode. Um, so, you know, a lot of times <laughs> I only get one episode out a week because that's how many nights it takes me to get prepped up to even record that episode. Um, now I am working on a new computer, which should make things a little better because I can use the new computer to play on and then this computer that I'm using right now, um... <laughs> will be uh will be rendering stuff. So I won't have to stop whoops. Um won't have to stop and render to make sure I have stuff up the next day. Um I'll be able to uh just keep just just keep at it and um and have, you know, multiple computers doing the rendering and stuff for me. So that'll be good. Um I've missed quite a few of these guys, haven't I? I guess I could get rid of this too. Um but yeah, Mick, Mick guy. I, I've gotten rid of most of most of these, the ones that are on my land at least, and um, I don't, I don't see any TNT man. So I guess you could send your people out if you. Is are they dressed in like 
red and orange. <laughs> uh, they got like a fry later in their pocket. <laughs> uh, Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar are going to come out. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yep. That wasn't even lupus. That was damn blue wool. Mick Gamer imposter over in here. Um, <laughs> I think that's it for me for today, guys. I appreciate you watching as always, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you all uh, next time. Um, oh yeah, and uh, Andrzejs asked me to play with him and some of his friends uh, to do Trouble in Terror's Town, and it's not really something I would normally play. Um, I mean, I've, I've been watching the Sea Nanners play it a little bit. Um, but I told him I would. I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll upload it because I think they're gonna do sh pretty short episodes. You know, like five or six minutes long. Um, and that's not normally something that I, I would do. I normally go for the more twenty, thirty minute type stuff. But uh, either way, I'm gonna you know try to try to hang out with those guys. It sounds like it'll be fun. And I see they haven't fixed the fall damage in this uh, this patch. Um, <laughs> so at any rate, it'll be on Anders' channel and uh, and his friends. I don't remember their names. Um, uh, one of them was some Swedish guy. Imagine that, friends with Anders, like Tib Tibets or Tib Tibets, and then the Pwn Star, Pwn Star, I think was the other one. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys will enjoy that stuff too. And uh, yep, I think that's about it for right now. I'll see you guys next time. Always on fire. You watching good bold You watching good Yes. <laughs> Dude, no, you know your shit just got Explode out of them from all sides.